Hello and welcome friends. Today we're gonna learn how to add and subtract mixed fraction. We will be working on the mixed fraction which are having different denominators. So let's see. To explain addition of the mixed fractions, I have taken following mixed fraction. We already know that the mixed fraction contains a whole number and the proper fraction. So let's see these fractions one by one. If we take first fraction, what is the whole number in it? 2 is the whole number and 1 out of 6 is the proper fraction. Similarly, if we take the second fraction, what we will get? 1 as the whole number and 1 out of 4 as the proper fraction. So once we have taken the whole number and the proper fraction from each given fraction, what we will do next? We will make the group of the whole numbers and we will make the group of the proper fractions. So we will get 2 plus 1 and we will get 1 out of 6 plus 1 out of 4. So it's really easy to add the whole numbers. What we will do? If we do 2 plus 1, we will get 3. Now it's time to add the proper fraction. But as I have mentioned already that today we are working on the fractions which are having the different denominators. So in this case what we have to do first, we have to make the denominator same. So how we make the denominator same? We use the LCM. So what is the LCM of 4 and 6? The LCM of 4 of 6 will be 12. So now we have to make denominator same which is as 12 by multiplying it with some number. So if we have to make 6 as 12, what we will do? We will multiply it with 2. But in a fraction, we can't do the multiplication in the denominator alone. Otherwise, it will change the value of the fraction. So whatever operation like division or multiplication, if we are doing in the denominator, we have to do that in the numerator as well. So to make 6 as 12 because we are multiplying it with 2 in the denominator so we have to multiply with 2 in the numerator as well now next proper fraction is 1 out of 4 to make 4 as 12 what we have to do we have to multiply it with 3 so we will do the same thing in the numerator as well as in the denominator so we will multiply 1 with 3 and 4 with 3 okay so now after multiplication, what we will get? We have already added our whole number, so we get 3. Now, our fractions have become 2 out of 12 and 3 out of 12. Now, we have got the same denominator. So, after getting same denominator, it's really easy. What we have to do? We just have to add numerators. So, if we add 2 plus 3, we will get 5. So now we have our whole number, we have our added proper fraction and we can't simplify this proper fraction because there is no common factor in the numerator and denominator. So it's time to combine our result. What we will do if we combine 3 and 5 out of 12, we will get this as a result. So friend, it's all really easy to add mixed fractions, right? Even though they are having the different denominator. So let's see another example. So this time we are working on three mixed fraction. So this time again, we know the rule that we will make the group of the whole numbers and we will make the group of the proper fraction. But before doing that, let's see what are the whole number and the proper fraction for each given fraction. So for three out of 10, what we will get? whole number is 0 because see there is no whole number against it so we will get 0 plus 3 out of 10 next is we will get 5 plus 1 out of 6 for last mixed fraction what we will get 2 is the whole number and 3 out of 5 is the proper fraction so we will write 2 plus 3 out of 5 so now we have separate out the whole number and the proper fraction part from each fraction it's time to group our whole numbers and group our proper fractions so if we make group so what we will get 0 plus 5 plus 2 we can ignore 0 right and if we make the group of the proper fraction we will get 3 out of 10 plus 1 out of 6 plus 3 out of 5 it's time to do operation on each group. So if we add 5 plus 2, what we will get? We will get 7. 
but as I have told that now we are working with the fractions which are having different denominator to make denominator same what we will do we will take the LCM so what is the LCM of 5 6 and 10 it is 30 so now it's our attempt to make each fraction with the denominator as 30 by multiplying the fraction with some number so let's see the first case which is 3 out of 10 to make 10 as 30 what we have to do we have to multiply it with 3 so we will multiply numerator with 3 and the denominator with 3 the next fraction is 1 out of 6 to make 6 as 30 we have to multiply numerator and denominator both with 5 so we will do so the last fraction is 3 out of 5 to make 5 as 30 we have to multiply it with 6 so what we will do we will multiply numerator with 6 and the denominator with 6 so after doing these multiplication what we will get we will get 9 out of 30 5 out of 30 and 18 out of 30 our denominator are same so now what we have to do we have to add all our numerator so if we add 9 plus 5 plus 18 what we will get we will get 32 so our fraction is 32 out of 30 and our whole number result we already we have which is 7 but if we notice that 32 and 30 they are having common factors so what we do in case of common factor we will simplify the fraction so we will cut these both numbers the numerator and the denominator with the common factor which is 2 so after simplification we will get the fraction part result as 16 out of 15 okay so we have simplified it but again did you notice one thing is different here what it is this 16 out of 15 is not a proper fraction in the case of mixed fraction we know it only contains whole number and proper fraction here 16 out of 15 is improper fraction so what we have to do now what we will do we will make this improper fraction into mixed fraction so we will write 7 as it is but 16 out of 15 will become 1 plus 1 out of 15 okay so now we have got one new whole number so what we will do we will add it to the 7 so we will get 8 plus 1 out of 15 so we have got our whole number result we have got our proper fraction result and this proper fraction can't be simplified either so it's time to combine our whole number and our proper fraction to get the final results so if we combine them we will get 8 whole and 1 out of 15 okay friends now let's see the example of the subtraction of the mixed fraction to explain the scenario I have taken following mixed fraction so the procedure of the subtraction is same as is it was for addition we will write whole number and the proper fraction for each given fraction so for first fraction what we will get we will get 3 plus 5 out of 6 for second fraction what we will get we will get 2 plus 4 out of 9 now it's time to group the whole numbers and proper fractions okay so if we group we will get 3 minus 2 and we will get 5 out of 6 minus 4 out of 9 so first perform the operation on the whole number because it's simple so what we will get we will get 1 now we if we have to perform the operation on the proper fraction we know we have to make the denominator same so we will take the LCM LCM of 6 and 9 will be 18 now it's time to make the denominator same as 18 by multiplying it with some number so let's do one by one so for 5, five out of 6 we will multiply fraction with 3 because 6 into 3 is 18 for 4 out of 9 we will multiply it with 2 because 9 into 2 makes it 18 okay so after multiplication what we will get result whole number we will write as it is we will have got 15 out of 18 and 8 out of 18 now our denominators are same so it's really easy we just have to 
subtract the numerator. So if we subtract 8 from 15, what we will get? We will get 7 out of 18. So 1 is our whole number result. 7 out of 18 is our fraction result. And if we see, we can't simplify this fraction as well as this is the proper fraction. So it's time to combine our result. If we combine the result, we get 1 whole 7 out of 18 as the result of subtraction of these given fraction. So friends, this was really easy, right? Let's see one more example. To explain this example, I have taken following fraction. We will again do the same way. We will write the whole number and the proper fraction for each given fraction. So for first fraction, we have got 5 plus 3 out of 4. For second fraction, we have got 2 plus 5 out of 6. Now it's time to group our whole numbers and proper fraction. So we have done so. If we perform the operation on the whole number, what we will get? We will get 3. Now here we have to take the LCM. So LCM of 4 and 6 is 12. Now we will make the denominator same as 12 by multiplying. Okay. So we have multiplied 3 out of 4 with 3. And we have to multiply 5 out of 6 with 2. So after multiplication, what we have got? We have got 9 out of 12 and 10 out of 12. So our denominators are same. But did you notice in our numerator, 9 is less than 10. So how are we going to do the operation? It's simple. We know that while doing addition or subtraction on the numbers, if we get in this kind of situation, there is a provision of carrying or borrowing numbers, right? So, in this case, we will borrow the number from the whole number. So, we will take borrow from 3. So, if we borrow 1 from 3, 2 will remain here, okay? And now, we will perform the operation on these fractions. Plus 9 out of 12 can be, can be written as 12 plus 9 out of 12. Why? Because 12 is the denominator in this case. Okay. So now if we see our fraction has converted into 21 out of 12 minus 10 out of 12. Now it's time to do the operation because our denominators are same and numerator, the first numerator is greater than second numerator. Okay. After subtracting 10 from 21, we will get 11 out of 12 as the result. So, our whole number is here, our fraction is here and if we notice, we, we can't simplify this fraction because it has got no common factor and similarly, it is already a proper fraction. So, it's time to combine our result. So, if we combine our result, we get 2 whole 1 out of 12 as the result. So, friends, through some example, I tried to explain addition and subtraction on the mixed fraction where mixed fractions are having different denominators. So, like my other videos here also, I want to give you the keynotes. So, what is the keynote? Write the whole number and the fraction for the given mixed fractions. Make different group of whole numbers and fractions. Perform operation, addition or subtraction on whole numbers and fractions separately. But before that, we have to make denominator same in fractions. If required, carry to or borrow from whole number. We have seen the example of these. If possible, simplify the fraction result. Combine the whole number and the fraction result to get the final result. So now it's time for questions of the day. So, for today, I have following question. You have to add following fractions and you have to subtract the following fraction. And please write the answer in the comment section. I will be waiting for your reply. And if you find this video at all helpful, please like this video and share with your friends. And please subscribe to my channel. It's free. And thank you so much for watching this video.